In this week's episode, we say a sad goodbye to rhino conservation icon Dr. Ian Player, a rare baby whale shark is released in the Maldives, a muscle mystery in South Africa, and baby bat burritos. It's all coming up in your two-minute roundup of Nature News. It is with heavy hearts that we say goodbye to rhino conservation icon Ian Player, who passed last week. Dr. Player's conservation career began back in 1952, and he is largely credited with saving the white rhino from extinction. In more sad news, police in Hawaii are investigating the suspicious death of a critically endangered Hawaiian monk seal. The seal was found with a blunt force trauma to the head, the latest in a string of monk seal murders fueled by tension between the animals and local fishermen. On to some happy seal news. Arctic ring seals could soon get more than 900,000 square kilometers of protected waters. The seals were declared threatened under the Endangered Species Act two years ago, mainly because of the decline in sea ice. This would be a great development. Speaking of protecting wildlife, in his new program, Kevin the Lion Whisperer Richardson has taken a stand against tourist petting lion cubs. The cubs are often sold to be hunted as canned lions, so by paying to pet one, you are directly enriching the lion hunting industry. From baby lions to baby sharks, whale sharks. This one and a half foot pup was caught and released by fishermen in the Maldives. After taking a dip in a local saltwater pool, fewer than 30 whale shark pups this small have ever been seen in the wild. Find out more on earthtouchnews.com. Off to Oz, where a supposed shark photobombed a local surfing competition when it jumped from the sea. Many sharks do breach, including spinner and blue sharks. But just to perform these aerial antics remains a mystery. The people of South Africa have another mystery on their hands. Thousands of mussels washed up on a Cape beach last week. Scientists suspect the mussels had been attached to ropes used for octopus farming, but the jury's still out. We're wrapping up with baby bat burritos. Permission to squee? Granted. These little flying foxes are new arrivals to the Australian Bat Clinic after an extreme heat wave separated them from their mothers. That's it for this week. Don't forget to get in touch via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.